In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of using Microsoft Excel. So if you are new to spreadsheet programs like Excel and Google Sheets, you need to watch this video first. However, if you're an experienced user already, you can probably skip this because this is gonna be very basic stuff. In this video, I'm going to cover how a spreadsheet is set up and we're gonna understand columns, rows, cell references, and how to enter data into cells. So the first thing you need to know if you're using a spreadsheet program is that a spreadsheet is essentially a giant grid. So we have columns which are lettered at the top. So this is column A, column B, column C. And then we have rows which are numbered and you can see the row number on the left hand side. So this is row one, this is row two, this is row three. Now within each column and row, there are cells, and each cell has an address, which is the column that it's in and the row number that it's in. So this is cell A1 because it's in column A and row one. This is column B, and this is row three, which makes this B3. This is cell C6 because it's in column C, and row six. So each cell has an address that is made up of the column that it's in and the row number that it's in. And so this comes in handy later when you need to refer to data in a specific cell. So to enter data into a cell in Excel or Google Sheets, whichever spreadsheet program you're using, all you need to do is click that cell and then type. So you can type letters or numbers. Now if you want to do math formulas in Excel, I'll cover this a little more detailed in a later video, but all you have to do is select the cell where you want the formula to calculate and then you press enter on your keyboard and then you can either click on the cell and use whatever math symbol you want. So to add it's equals, I'm gonna click on cell A8, an addition symbol, and then click on cell B8, and then when I hit enter, it will calculate, so two plus three is five, or the other option, if you don't wanna click the cell, is you can also type the cell manually. So if I wanna do cell A8, maybe this time I will minus it from cell B8, this time I'm typing instead of clicking on the cell. So you can do both options depending on which you prefer. But that is how a spreadsheet is set up, understanding columns and rows and cells, and a very basic tutorial on entering data into cells, as well as setting up some basic math formulas. So that is it for this video. I will be covering Excel in a lot more depth in future videos, so make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.